Hello, algebra students. This is a quick uh, example video of the vertical motion model. Uh, what the vertical motion model is, it is, it is an equation that is used to model the height of a projectile over time. Now, this projectile could be a multitude of different things. Um, it could be like a ball that you're throwing in the air or a person like jumping or um, the example that we're going to be looking at is like cliff jumping. Okay, so essentially what this model will do is it'll model the height of this person. Uh, and what this person's going to do, or this object or whatever you're doing, uh, objects go up in the air and they come back down, right? So this is going to be the formula that models its height is going to be the y and time is going to be the x. So let's take a look at it. Uh, H equals negative 16 t squared plus vt plus s. H is going to be the height. Height's going to be changing, right? Uh, t, time, that's the x variable. It's going to be over here. V is your initial velocity. So, uh, you know, obviously, if you're talking about throwing a ball, uh, the harder that you throw this object, uh, the longer it's going to be in the air, right? Uh, and then s is going to be the starting height. Let's look at an example. So uh, we got our friend Jason. He, he is jumping off of a cliff while vacationing with some friends. Uh, this one has the formula already given to you. I could say, hey, his initial velocity was 16 feet per second, right? That's what this number is. That's the V. And the starting height is the thing at the end. So he's starting at a height of 480 feet, uh, jumping with an initial velocity of 16 feet per second. This is the equation that would represent that. So uh, the first question says, how long did it take for Jason to reach his maximum height? Well, if we are to imagine what this equation is going to look like, remember, because it's negative, it's going to be an upside down U-shaped graph. And what it's going to look like, as I drew over there, uh, basically, we got Jason over here on a cliff. Uh, he's going to jump up in the air a little bit, and then he's going to come back down. Now, if we continued this this way, Obviously, we don't because we don't have negative seconds. But if we continued it this way, it would uh, still follow this U-shaped parabola. Uh, we don't need that stuff because that doesn't make sense in this real-life example, right? We don't talk about, like, he's not, he's jumping from this height. Oops, I don't want to do that. So uh, how are we going to find how high he actually achieved? Well, we know it's going to be above 480, right, because that's where he started. He's going to jump up a little bit higher, and then he's eventually going to reach the water. Okay. We have a name for this point, right? Uh, that would be called the vertex of our parabola. So if we remember how to find our vertex, that's going to help us, uh, help us answer this question. Uh, think back to 4.1. This is in standard form, a squared plus ax squared plus bx plus c. And the way that I told you guys to find the vertex, if it's in standard form, is to use this formula. Uh, x equals negative b over 2a, and our a value in this problem is negative 16. Our b value in this problem is 16, and our c value is 480. So uh, plugging in those numbers, we're going to have negative 16 over 2 times 16. Uh, we're going to be very careful here to follow our order of operations. We want to simplify our numerator as much as possible and our denominator as much as possible. That would give us over 2a, a is negative 16. Uh, that would give us negative 16 over negative 32, which is negative 1 half. Or, sorry, positive 1 half. So uh, our vertex is going to be 1 half comma something. And the way that I told you guys to figure out what that something is, is to take 1 half and plug it in for t there and there. So we would have negative 16 1 half squared plus 16 times 1 half plus 480. Uh, this is going to be a calculator question. Negative 16.5 squared plus 16 times 0.5 plus 480. When I type that into my calculator, I get 484. So the vertex of our of our parabola here is 1 half comma 484. Now let's interpret this in the context of the problem. Our friend Jason is jumping up in the air from a height of 480 feet. He jumps up a little bit 
Well, we know that this point is one half comma four eighty four. So Jason gets up to a height of four hundred eighty four at one half of a second, right? At one half of a second, he reaches his maximum height, which is four hundred eighty four. So that's going to answer both part A and part B. How long did it take for Jason to reach his maximum height? Well, it took him one half of a second, right? One half seconds, a half a second, I don't know. We'll call it a half a second. Uh, does it make sense? Hopefully, right? Uh, at a half a second, we're up at 484 feet. That's how long it took Jason to reach his maximum height. And what was that highest point that he achieved? 484 feet. Are you going to see some other examples of these vertical motion model questions come into play uh, in the future? Even I'm going to ask questions like, at what point did uh, Jason reach? the water, or I might ask, hey, what was his height at four seconds or something like that? So uh, there will be other questions that come into play. Uh, please do not be afraid to reach out if you guys have any questions.